Welcome back, and today we have the T.W. Price Rain. This is the second design from T.W. Price. The first was the Dawn, and I absolutely love this knife. I think it's so classy looking, and I was wondering how he could top it or at least compete with this, and this is how right here. Instead of a front flipper like the Dawn, this one has a traditional flipper. You got a nice harpoon blade here. This particular one is the black washed finish, black stone wash finish. You got a nice aggressive point there for piercing task. Nice top swedge for some nice added lines. Love the look of that. Got a decent height flat grind on this one. The blade steel on the actual production version is going to be magna cut. I think it's 62 Rockwell which is not the 6364 that we'd like to see, but I get it. It's the OEM, I'm pretty sure it's best tech on this one, and they're gonna be making a lot of knives. So it's harder for them to fine tune that heat treatment. And I will add that that 62 Rockwell on Magna Cut is gonna be better than a lot of the other steels that they use, like the M390s and stuff like that, at least in my, my opinion and my testing. You have dual fullers here. You have that nice uh, autographed, T.W. Price right there. Logo. Love it. It looks very classy. You got a sharpening choil that does clear the plunge. However, it's barely. You're, you may have a couple of sharpenings before it starts to widen up. I would love to see that opened up a little bit or to go up some more or bring that plunge grind back some. You have perfect fine cut jimping that's, that grips the thumb perfectly. I would have loved to see it go all the way up the little thumb ramp right here because that's you know that's where my, my thumb lands and I have a medium sized hand. Now I'm just telling you everything that I see on the knife and then I'm gonna read things that I that he's supposed to be changing. Now this is a uh, liner lock, titanium liner lock and I'm glad he went with that because you have the beautiful milled texture on the titanium and he's able to carry that over on the other side. And being that this is a flipper, you don't have to worry about accidentally holding down that lock bar. It flips nice, nice and smooth, riding on bearings. Love the action. Feels like there's a, uh, yep, looks like there's a detent ball ramp. I felt whenever I, right here, that I could easily break that detent. That's just where the detent ball jumps up on the blade tang. The flipper tab's jimped and it's got nice texture. You can either light switch it or you got a little flat spot to do the push button. I find that the light switch uh, works the best and it's it's got a pretty good action. Pre-order for the rain opens October 22nd at 1.30 Pacific time. Uh, it'll be left open so there's no limitations on the variations people can get. And it is open to international people as well. So that's awesome to see. I know a lot of times they get excluded. So that's very cool to see. Any extras will be available after the pre-orders are fulfilled. So depending on how many he ends up having, uh, he's going to put out X amount. I don't, he doesn't know that. You can get it in this variation with the black wash blade, bronze, titanium, and black hardware, pocket clip, and backspacer. You can also get it with a stonewash blade, blue anodized handles, backspacer, pocket clip, and satin hardware, and pivot collars. Or you can get it with a stonewash blade, bead blasted scales, and backspacer, and pocket clip, satin hardware, and pivot collars. So three different variations. There will be a left-handed version. That one's going to be a little bit more expensive because I'm sure he's not producing as many lefty versions. Being this is a prototype and we're so close to the pre-order, I uh, didn't really have time to do any cutting with it, but I did I did put it into, I, like held it in some wood to push some pressure, pressure without actually cutting through anything just to see how this handle felt. And I will say for my medium sized hands, it was nice and comfortable. Uh, my two fingers fit in this little uh, toil area right here, but I could see that maybe being a problem for somebody with large X large hands. Hopefully that's something he's addressing. I like the black hardware with the black blade. I think it looks really nice. You have an inset liner here on the locking side and it's a partial liner as you can see just screwed in right there and on the show side scale it's just titanium and it's been heavily skeletonized. You have a floating geared backspacer as you can see you can see the spacing through it. it looks very very nice something you usually see on higher end knives. You have a blind screwed mill titanium pocket clip that has decent spring to it goes in and out of the pocket nicely. 
The lockup on this one's at around 50% or so. No play. What's so this thing's got a very tight lockup. Access to the lock bar is pretty good. It comes down a little bit lower on the show side scale. Get a little chamfer and some texture. I can easily disengage it. No problem whatsoever. I can use the fat of my thumb if I want. Or just use the tip of my thumb. Perfect on both. The weight as it is right now is 3.9 ounces. That could change. This is a prototype. All right, I was going to do my nitpicks complaints, but I was looking over some of the design changes. Let's talk about those real quick. I'm not going to do size comparisons because the size of this knife is going to change as well. So it's going to increase the size from a 3.46 inch blade to a 3.6 inch blade. And right now it's 7.9 inches. It's going to be 8.25 inches overall length. So quite a, quite a big difference there. You know, I don't know. I love this size, but you know, I don't think it's going to be a bad thing. Okay. This uh, liner right here is steel, but he's going to change it to a titanium liner uh, inset liner lock with a steel insert. So that's cool to see. He's going to increase. Oh, he's increasing the blade stock from 0.118 to 0.125. Ah, I would have rather see the blade stock get thinner. <laughs> he says he's going to move the flipper tab back towards the scale so it's not going to be sticking out as far. And it says this will change the action to more of a light switch versus a push button. I guess the light switch I think works perfect right now. I guess you could push. It's harder for me to push button. I just pull back on it. So hopefully that'll that'll be a good change. He's he's pretty deliberate when he changes something. Increase accessibility length of the lock insert relief cut by 0 0.09. So I'm guessing that that's this area right here. If so, that, that's not a bad thing. And he's going to increase the length of the primary finger position to give the first two fingers more room. Okay, good. I was talking about that earlier because right now my medium-sized hands, I just barely fit into this little spot right here. So he's going to make that a little bit longer so it, it should accommodate more people's hands. That's, that's nice to see. Even though it's a very subtle uh, swoop right here. Uh, it might it might have aggravated your fingers if you landed on that so cool so it looks like that is it the standard configuration for the righties is coming in at 310 dollars not bad for all the premium materials you're getting and the size knife you're getting and then left-handed configurations are going to come in at 325 but other than that I think it's a stunning knife, uh, especially a stunning second design. It's going to be quite a bit bigger than the original Dawn because the Dawn was already uh, a smaller knife compared to the Rain. Both of them super elegant. Yeah, nice looking knives. And he's a super nice guy as well. So yeah, I cannot wait to hear y'all thoughts on this one. Like I said, I will have links to everything down in the description. That'll do it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not already, consider subscribing because we have a daily knife content. Um, unless, you know, something comes up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute, absolute amazing day. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.